welcome Wednesday morning. So today is something that I think is awesome. So the other day, it was actually Friday, um, I I wanted to get a little bit of footage about it though before we actually posted about it. And so on Friday, my mom was gone. She was on a vacation of sorts with my stepdad and my little sister. And so I was kind of taking that, taking care of the house and everything like that. And I had been collecting eggs and I had written on some of the eggs in color pencil or crayons and stuff like that and trying to hatch them. And not figuratively, she really wanted to hatch them. She was. I was, not, but I mean, not figuratively. No quotations needed. Not, figur she really <laughs> not to figuratively. Hatch them. Not figuratively <laughs> that I was trying to hatch them, but figuratively that they were actually going to hatch. Because we've been doing this for several years where we've been attempting to have some of the eggs hatch out, and it didn't work. Hatch them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So what happened was, um, I so we I went out and I was collecting eggs and I was sorting through them and writing in color pencil on some of them and everything like that because they take about three weeks to hatch from when they're fertilized and actually start forming into a chick until they actually hatch out of the egg. And so and I've done all this research about it and everything like that and I just barely learned how to like put it over a flashlight and be able to see if there's a chicken there or not. And so I did that with all, with like 50 eggs, every single one, I checked every one. And I was able to differentiate which ones. And I I ended up not being able to tell at first. So this was like a trial and error type of thing. And I saw some very, very barely formed chicks in a few. And so that was, it like taught me a little bit. And I just ended up giving those ones to my dog because my dog doesn't care if they're partially formed chicks. <laughs> and so, and so I, I know my sister, since they both have kids, they kind of, they feel for the chicks every time and they can't even bear to look at it or hat or crack into an egg that has a chicken or anything. And to me, I'm just like, okay, and now there it is for my dog, because he's he'll kill, like, full-grown chickens. And so, he I mean, anymore. he doesn't anymore. He doesn't. <clears throat> but he used to, and before we trained him. And so, which was in a different episode. And so, I went out there, and I had put these, these, these eggs a couple weeks ago in there, and... But I didn't think anything of it because I thought that they that the chickens that were broody, the hens that were broody, had what kind of. What does it of, mean to be broody? It means that they just sit on a nest all day, every day. They don't do it like they they get off to eat and to get a drink. They want to be mamas. Yeah, they mean. yeah the broody chickens just mean that the hens mean that it's just like they really want to be a mom. And so even if they're not, if it's not their chick, they just want to hatch a dang chick out. Who cares whose it is? They just want to hatch it out. And so well, I had two broody chickens, two broody hens, and so I left the eggs in there, and one of them is a bantam, which means that they're like the, the teeny ones, like the half size chicken. So she hens. calls them hobbits. I the do. Hobbit I call them the hobbit chickens. Well, our first few bantams that we had, they had feathers on their feet. For those of you that don't know very much about hobbits, hobbits have hairy feet. Like they have literal hair on their feet like a lot and so the literal fake characters <laughs> fake people <laughs> <laughs> in lord of the rings and the hobbit and silmarillion etc etc et yes in the book they have yeah they have, they have very hairy thick hairy feet and they don't wear shoes yeah and so they're like our leathery furry feet and so I started calling them hobbits, and so I started naming them after hobbits. So it's like we had a Frodo, and we had Pippin, and Mary, and and uh, Bilbo. Sam. We had a Bilbo, and we Did had a Sam. a Sam. Yeah, we had a Sam. And so, it, so we just went, and then our first bantam was actually named Hobbit. <laughs> and so she was the original bantam, and she had a lot of feathers on her feet, and she was beautiful. Anyway. I, she, those are the kind of chickens where it's like, if you want to, you can eat them, but I cannot eat this chicken. She was my pet. And so, um, so I went out there and, and, and I had moved the eggs around thinking that there were a couple that weren't viable eggs. Like they, they had, le they had left the, the eggs alone for long enough that I thought that they had killed the chicks inside, <clears throat> but I left them in there anyway, because they really wanted to be mamas and they just wanted to sit on eggs. So I left them in there. And I didn't think that anything would come of it, so I moved it from my broody 
bantam, her name is Pippin, to this black Australorp, which is just a black, they're black chickens, just pitch black, just black, that's it. And then there's some black, black ones that have red eyes, so they look like the Satan. I call one death and one nightmare or something like that because they're just We call evil. them Twilight and Midnight. <laughs> they're not Twilight and Midnight. But they, no, and it, and it has nothing like that because I actually do think that they're quite pretty, but it's just her, her attitude. Yeah, and that's true, too. If you try and get eggs from underneath her, she pecks at you. and She's mean. Well, and she doesn't do it in, like, a loving an way. Like, looking. Yeah, she, she does it like, don't, like, she doesn't want to get near you. She doesn't want you to touch her. Like, Hobbit, I mean, Pippin, she'll peck you, too. But she, she'll, like, puff up. And it's just cute how she does it. This chicken is not, like, there's no nothing endearing about her. She's just a bully. <laughs> She's just mean. And so... I went out there and both of my chickens were sitting on their nests and I heard, and, and, and so I went to get eggs and I heard peeping and I was just like, wait a second, that's not a chicken sound. And so I was, so I didn't, and so I was like, I don't know. And so I just stood there kind of baffled because I, the, the impossible couldn't possibly happen because I had been trying to hatch out chicks for years now. And it's completely unsuccessful. And I know that I've learned a lot over the years, but I just, I still figured that I was unsuccessful. And so I hear this peeping. And so I don't even look, but I stand there and then I keep hearing this peeping and I get closer to the box with the black chicken in it. And I keep hearing this peeping. So I freak out, don't even look in the nest or anything. Don't know what to do. Like i totally freak out in my head like I can't even function or figure out what the heck is going on. Yeah, I just hear this peeping. And so I run inside and I immediately call my mom and I'm just like, Mom, there's a chick in this, in this box. And I had, uh, and, and she was just like, what, are you sure? And I was just like, yes, there's peeping. But I told her that I had never, that I hadn't actually seen it and stuff. So I went in there and I actually stuck my hand in there and I found the chick and I pulled it out. And it was the cutest thing ever. So here's the here's a picture of the adorable chick. It was so cute. Yeah. So, so then straight away she sent me a, a, a picture. Me, a, yeah, me and our other sister a picture. And, and I then I even, called her. I didn't even get a chance to look at it. So she's like, "Did you see my picture?" And I'm like, "No. What is it?" She's like, "Look at it. Look at the picture." I'm like yelling at me. I'm like, "Okay." And I'm like, "Yeah, cool." She's like, "It's a chick." No, that's like, not oh, what happened. Right. No, it's that's not how that how it happened because she, she was thought so excited. I was, I was super excited, and so I was, I was showing. So, so she, I told her to look at it, and so she was just like, "What? No way!" And she got excited too. Don't act like you didn't get excited. She was. I'm excited because I know that they've been trying for a long time, but it, it was nothing compared to her. No enthusiasm. Yeah. So I, so I ended up. Uh, tell, calling my older sister and asking her if she saw it and she was just like no and then she was like but Lindy told me and so uh, then I called my mom back and I and I sent her a picture and she was in the mountains actually traveling back home and so she didn't see the picture because she hadn't received it yet because she was getting really terrible service and she didn't have 4G or anything like it was nothing and so she so she was just so she was just like you need to move it separate from all the other chickens and you need to go out and buy some chick food and bloody bloody blah. So I was just like, wait a second, isn't the point of having a mama chick mama mama a mama in general is to raise it? And so because we took all of our chickens, the original ones, and we ended up putting them under a light and raising them with chicken feed with with baby chick feed and then water and then we would like take care of it and make sure that it, it butt didn't get all its butt didn't get all like nasty poopy constipated kind of stuff which apparently happens with birds really easily if they don't drink plenty of water and so um sorry that for that tmi <laughs> So I was, so, so I was, I looked it up online and it was just like, no, the hen will do all of the work. And I was like, oh, that's so awesome because there's so much work when you are actually doing all the work. And so I separated and I put it in, we have a chicken tractor. And so I put the mama and the chick in this chicken tractor and I keep on calling it a girl because I'm going to manifest it to be a girl because 
ask. We I don't. don't we don't need another rooster. rooster. We do not need one. I have two. One of them sounds sickly when he crows, and he's not sick. He just is terrible at crowing. Like his voice is broken or something. Yeah, it's like he's dying. That's what he sounds like. So basically, how it is is I'll sit there and I'll be hanging out my clothes again with the hanging out the clothes. Yes, I do it every week. So it's like. What? I'm hanging out my clothes. So I'm out there and I'm hanging out my clothes. And Jake, my little sister, she named them after John Wayne stuff. So Jake, um, on one of his movies, she named one of them Jake. And then the other one, Cogburn, Rooster Cogburn. Anyway. It's cute. Like it's cute. It. Yeah. So, so because they're roosters, you know? And so Cogburn obviously came first. So he's a couple years older than our other chicken. And he's and, more beautiful. Oh, more he's beautiful. so beautiful. He's an Aracana, which is, they're, they're called the Easter egg chickens that lay like the green and blue eggs. And he is beautiful, has this beautiful plumage, this beautiful, long, puffy tail with this golden head. And he just looks regal. And his crow is beautiful too. Like he just carries it all the way up and holds it at that high note. And then the other rooster, Jake, he'll sit there and he'll be like, Arr! and he just sounds <laughs> awful, like he's dying. And then, so I'll, I'll, so the Jake will crow when I'm hanging out my clothes. And then Cog, and then I'll be like, Cogburn, show him how to do it. And the, on cue, he'll, he will crow to show Jake how to crow properly, because I can't stand Jake. He's mean, he bullies the kids, and Cogburn is polite and well-mannered, and he'll stick up for me. Like, if I if if I don't like something that Jake is doing, Cogburn will go and attack Jake for me. Like, mm. it happens all the time. He's like... Very nice, I didn't know that. He's like a... What is it called? He's like a gentlemanly type of rooster. So I love that that rooster. So we don't need any more roosters. We don't need any more roosters is basically the point. Um, so I'm really trying to, I'm like, no, I'm going to believe that this is a hen until it becomes a hen. And so, because otherwise we'll, have, we'll just have to kill it and that will break my heart because it's my first chick. So I'm like, no, this is a hen. And so, <laughs> but it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful check. Here is a video right here that is about, I think, two days, it, it's two days old in this video. And then here is this video and it is today. I took it today. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed my chicken stories. If you don't know anything about chickens, maybe you learned a little bit. And if you do know a lot about chickens, then you can know exactly how amateur I am. Tell us about your farm stories. Yeah, farm stories, animal stories. We love, yeah. Yeah, any kind of outlandish animal stories, we love to hear them. Outlandish anything stories, honestly. So just, yeah. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe, comment, like, share, and may adventures be in your cards. So here's the chick. Here's our baby chick in its natural habitat. I'm just kidding. I was just trying to sound like a true ecologist. Isn't it so cute? It's so cute.